We could not be more thrilled to host the 2019 World Cup right here in Mansfield. This town has such a rich history in the sport, so we are honored to hold it here at the community center. Ron started here in Mansfield, so it's only fitting that he finishes in his hometown as well. Ron was actually a good friend of my oldest brother, Bill, back in their school days. Boy, Ron was such a dreamboat back then. Over my entire career, I played a total of 10 World Cups. My only championship coming in the year 1979. But most people remember of that year is the fact that Ron Merriman didn't attend the Cup. Heck, for years, Ron Merriman was unbeatable. That is until the year 2009. Go Fish fans can argue all day long about which tournament was the best. However, no one can argue the historical significance of the 2009 World Cup. No one had ever played like Tommy Fincher before, and though many have tried, no one has been able to replicate his style of play ever since. And let's remember, he was only 12 years old and was dominating Ron Merriman, who most historians would agree was the best player to ever play the game. And what would you say to those fans who would argue that Tommy Fincher is the best player of all time? I'd say they're being sensational. To me, one great tournament performance is not enough evidence to suggest that anyone could be the best player of all time. Uh, we started following the sport pretty recently, I'd say. Yeah, and the last year, beginning of this year. What made you guys interested in competitive go fish? I mean, Gunnerman and TikToks were definitely a big part of it. Yeah. Before, it was just, you know, a bunch of old dudes, but, you know, Gunner made it cool. Do you have any threes? Go fish, bitch! Gunnar McNutt is really the first bad boy of Go Fish. Some of the older fans think some of his antics are offensive to the sport, but to me, anything that brings attention to competitive Go Fish is okay in my book. POV, you watch me get kicked out of a Go Fish tournament, and we lock eyes. Well, personally, I think Gunnar McNutt is a disgrace to the sport. You know, the game Go Fish is about honor and respect. I think these young kids are ruining it for everybody. Who do you think will take home the gold this year? Well, I think it's safe to say it's going to come down to Ron Gunner. Let's just hope Ron can show him how the game is supposed to be played. I'm just thrilled to be playing with such giants in the sport in my first year of competition. Merriman's the greatest of all time, Gunner's the future of the sport, and Tommy Fincher, he's the ghost of Go Fish. You want any sevens? Go Fish. <sighs> to be honest though, I'd be honored to lose to any of those guys. With rumors of Ron Merriman's retirement, Gunner McNutt's recent controversies, and Tommy Fincher's official return to Go Fish, it looks like this World Cup is going to go down in the history books.
Hello, go fish fans. It's Ted McKnight. In just a few moments from now, we will be watching one of the most anticipated World Cups in competitive go fish history. And as you can hear, the fans are absolutely roaring. And the first player to enter the building is Gunner McNutt. And he's looking like a force to be reckoned with tonight, folks. And up next is rookie Colin Starkey, who, despite being in his first year of competition, should not be written off here tonight. And here is the ghost himself, Tommy Fincher. Oh, looks like we caught him off guard. So and pardon that interruption, I'm sorry about that. But up comes Ron Merriman, the legend himself, who I believe will go balls to the wall tonight. And it looks like our players are being seated right now. And the first to enter the table is Colin Starkey, and man, has he had quite the year as he was able to sneak into the fourth and final qualifying spot. We now see first seed Ron Merriman approach the table, followed by second seed Gunnar McNutt, who is still healing from that terrifying leg injury he acquired last week in the playoffs. Oh, looks like there's some sort of glitch there, but it appears that Tommy Fincher is now at the final seat at the table, and the ref is handing out the cards. <clears throat> that is right. All of our players are ready to begin play. The biggest mystery here tonight is how will Tommy Fincher, proclaimed ghost of Go Fish, play after stepping away from the game for almost 10 years. Also, with this possibly being Merriman's final tournament and the first World Cup for both Mikna and Starkey, this could truly be anyone's game here tonight. Gunner, you got any nines? Five. Yeah. <laughs> the geezer, do you have a three? The name's Marilyn. Do you know? Um, let me call you back in a second. About a win tournament. And as we enter the seventh round and the final stretch of the 2019 World Cup, it looks like Tommy Fincher might score the second shutout in the history of competitive go fish. Right. Go fish. With Fincher drawing, the play now moves on to Colin Starkey. Uh, Tommy, you got me. Play pauses as it appears Tommy Fincher has disappeared from the table. It's just an ace of spades. Uh, damn it, what is this? Hey, no! Was he ejected from the game Set or not? Why don't we get this back in the game? Stop my cycle, man! Oh, no. Hey, another tumble like that, you're gonna be kicked out of this game too, McNutt. And things are not looking good right now, folks. That is certainly right. However, McNutt's outburst is not unfounded, as Tommy Fincher's mysterious disappearance does indeed disqualify him from the game. Now, a tournament that could have been a shutout is looking up in the air at the moment, folks. What are you gonna do about it, Stripey? You gonna fucking cry like a hey, little baby? Hey, boys! Now, now, boys, this, this is a kangaroo car game! Hey, shut the fuck up! Hey, and what is this? You told Tommy you didn't have any twos. Now, now I've had it about up to here! I need some goddamn respect for the sport! You're gonna have to explain yourself real soon, or you're gonna be out of here, McNutt. I don't know why you wanted me to do that. Fincher fuck was winning you know the round. You're out. You're disqualified. Get Wait, out of here. I got hoes waiting outside, bitch. Well, Colin, how's it feel to win your very first 
World Cup. You know, man, it just feels amazing. I've been playing Go Fish my entire life, and I just can't believe I'm here right now, you know? I can't wait to be back. Well, folks, all I can say is, what a wild night it's been here at Mansfield Community Center. Good night.